They're reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving Him and walking in His ways, and keeping His commandments, statutes, and decrees, you will live and grow numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you that you will certainly perish. You will not have a long life on the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then, and that you may and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding his voice and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you to live on the land that the Lord has sworn. He would give your fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Bless the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. He is like a tree planted near running waters that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves never fade, whatever he does prospers. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. But the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. to his disciples, the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. And he said to all, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord. In today's gospel, we are reminded 
you are reminded, we're all reminded, that you have a cross. Now, you may not realize it. You may have thought that you had avoided one, but you do have one. And Jesus says, everyone must take up their cross daily, daily, and follow me. So every day, we have that obligation to look for a cross. Jesus' presumption is clear. Every one of us has his or her cross to bear. Maybe it's an old one or a new one every day. But think about what is your cross? Your cross may be an ongoing tension or crisis in your family. Can you follow Jesus by becoming the source of comfort and peace for the other members of the family? Is your cross an illness? Can it be a means for bringing loved ones together? Can it lead to a new sense of gratitude for the time you or a loved one have been given and making the best of that time? Or maybe your cross isn't a burden, but a gift, a skill, an ability, a talent you possess that you could use to bring hope or healing into another's life. Maybe it's something simple and ordinary that you take for granted. But by following Jesus' attitude of selflessness and humble service, you can use that cross to bring a great deal of joy and consolation to others. Jesus calls us each one to take up our cross and follow him. And step one is to realize what our cross is, for good or for bad, a heavy one, or maybe just something that bugs you. So what's your cross? How can you use it as a means of Easter rising? So today we pray, Jesus, <clears throat> give us the courage and conviction to take up the crosses laid upon our shoulders with the assurance that you bear our crosses with us. Help us to crucify our own narrow interests and self-centered wishes so that we may bring to our families and communities the joy and hope of Easter.